Hello and welcome back to my channel where you'll find all things cleaning, organizing, and lifestyle. Today's video is all about bathroom organization. I am sharing how I set up my brand new bathroom, all of the organization products I used, and some of my favorite hacks for keeping things super neat. So let's get into it. Okay, this is the new bathroom. It has been so excited moving in here because this bathroom has more drawers than I have ever seen in a bathroom in my life. We are coming from an apartment that only had three drawers total. So this was really, really exciting for me to organize. So we're gonna start off strong in the top drawer. This is what I refer to as like my essentials drawer and it's anything that I'm using daily. So obviously I've got my toothpaste, my toothbrush, my deodorants, my hair serum that I use at nighttime any skincare products that I want to use day and night, all that kind of stuff. Everything that I'm going to be grabbing most frequently, my retainers and teeth whiteners, those are going to live in the top drawer always. You want to give this prime real estate to the items that are being grabbed most frequently. So that one was a no-brainer. Down below my essentials drawer is where I've done hair accessories because that's probably the like second most frequently grabbed item in my bathroom. So I've got my brushes, my clips, and all of my hair ties and pins. So when it comes to organizing drawers like this, you really want to have some type of containment, especially when you've got all these small things like in here or the essentials drawer. These are the same organizers that I have up here. I got them in a big pack on Amazon. They're great because they come with the little sticky bottoms. Thankfully, these all fit pretty snug, so I didn't need to use any of them, but I did have some of them on there previously. If your drawers are kind of oddly shaped and you can't fit a perfect row, you don't want them to be sliding Around, but they come in a big variety pack and I have used them for years. They are my favorite organizers and that is what you want to fill your drawers with when you've got all these little things. You want to create a home for the different categories so that you know where to find everything, but also when you're done using it, it has the same place to go back to and that's how everything's going to stay organized. But sometimes organizers can be kind of like overkill. You really don't want to overdo it or purchase organizers that you don't need because they can get very, very expensive. So in this drawer, I'm actually just reusing the box that my straightener came in. This is the bottom half and then this on the right is the top half because it just fits them perfectly and, and it was a good depth for the drawer. Honestly, I'm a sucker for like really quality packaging as much as I like to get rid of things. When I find a good box, I just can't let it go. So this ended up working really well to just hold my hair tools in the drawer and then down below there, I have my blow dryer, which needed nothing. This is an example of not overdoing it. There wasn't gonna be a bin that was going to fit this drawer perfectly or fit this product perfectly. So sometimes when it's a bigger item, it's more functional to just leave it in the drawer by itself. Moving on to my makeup drawer, I was very, very excited to finally have a drawer to put my makeup in. At our previous place, I did not have an extra drawer like I mentioned to do this. And so I do have a solve for that, but this is what my drawer looks like now. Same organizers that I got from Amazon. You can mix and match them really any way and you can categorize your products in the way that they make the most sense to you. So I've got everything visible and at my fingertips, everything's got a home and it feels amazing. But if you do not have extra drawer space, this is actually the organizer organizing unit that I used for my makeup at our last place. I love these drawers. I got them from the container store. They're very pretty and just elevated and you can stack them. And then this was like the top piece that fit on top. So I put my brushes in here and then I had fragrances and stuff on this open shelf. So if you don't have drawer space, but you're wanting something functional and pretty, you can choose a product like this. This, like I said, is container store. This was a little bit more of a pricier one. Um, I have found some more affordable options on Amazon. Anything that's gonna give you structure. So you've got the double drawers. This is where I kept like all my palettes. Again, I said I had brushes up here. Foundations and everything like that, they just lay nicely. It keeps them structured and categorized. And stuff like this can be stored right on your counter because it is pretty to look at. It can be on a shelf, it can be anywhere. So if you do not have the drawer space and you don't wanna to opt to just keep it in your makeup bag, there are plenty of options where you can have a little workaround and still have a nice display for your makeup. And we've got my husband's essential drawer here. I was so excited to be able to give him a drawer. He was so nice at our last place and he let me have all of the drawers in our bathroom. So I wanted to make him his own little essentials drawer so that it was very easy for him to get ready in the morning. But if you do not have extra drawer space, these are actually the two products that I used at our last apartment to give him storage just underneath the sink like this. These drawers are really great. I got them at the container store. So I literally had all of his stuff living in there and then his more frequently used things I had on this turntable. This is from Target. This one is awesome because it has 
so many different little dividers so it makes it easy to keep everything separated and categorized and then i kept his travel bag down here as well and then you can see i did have to borrow a little bit of his cabinet space under here for some of my taller bottles. So that's something I wanna mention. When you are storing things and trying to organize under the cabinet, you really wanna take advantage of the vertical space because every under sink area has some situation like this that makes it really difficult to utilize all the space. You can't usually go back that far in this middle part, you're usually really limited. So going up is really the only option, which is why things that can stack are going to be your best friend. This drawer and the turntable, easy to stack on one another. And then this is a two tier turntable. This one is also from Target. I like this one a lot. It can keep all of your small things up top, but it has a place for all of your tall bottles to fit. So really just taking advantage of the vertical space. And I'll show you how I did that on my side. So like I said, Stacking is gonna be your best friend. These stackable drawers are from Container Store and they are divided. I know this one says first aid. It's because there's like band-aids and stuff in the back, but the front two are my nail care things. <laughs> so don't worry, the label is kind of correct. But these are great for dividing all your small things and keeping everything separate, especially for things like Q-tips and cotton balls. It's nice to just keep those divided. Luckily, everything has a home right now, but if it didn't, I could fit another one on top of here still. So, so you definitely want to take advantage of all this empty space up here because of course you can't go backwards. And then same on this side, these bins are my favorite. These are from Target. They are stackable bins, which is already gonna earn it extra points from me. And these are actually one of the more inexpensive bins that I've seen. I've sourced a lot of organizing product in my day because I used to be a professional organizer. And so I've seen firsthand just how pricey all of this stuff can get. But these are a really great price from Target and they are quality, great sized bins. So this is all of my travel stuff. I keep all of my mini things for trips and traveling up in this top bin. And then down below are all of my my travel bags. For me, I like to pick and choose through everything, so I love having it out, but if you don't have that space, definitely just pack them right in their bags and they'll be ready to throw in your suitcase. And then I wanna talk a little bit about storing things in plain sight right on your counter. This is something that I have been doing for so long. I think I started this in college because I literally had zero, zero storage space. And so this was my only option. So I started to choose my products that had the prettiest packaging. So all the colorful things, my perfume bottles, just anything that I thought would be, you know, the most aesthetic aesthetically pleasing for my tabletop. And that is what I pulled out. And I just use a tray to keep everything contained. That's literally all you need. If you're gonna store things in plain sight, rather than just having them out on the counter, having some sort of tray, some sort of catch-all for these things is going to make it look a little more elevated, a little more put together. I've had this acrylic one for years. This is also from Amazon. It just matches every bathroom that I've ever lived in because it's acrylic. So I do love this one. I also love it because it is super, super easy to clean. But this is just a fun way that you can store things in plain sight, not have to worry about taking up storage space and kind of make your own pretty little aesthetic area. Add a mirror, add a candle, just kind of make it fun, I guess. It's an easy way to not take up any storage space and kind of actually use your products as decor. And okay, now we are talking about shower organization. I have never had this big of a shelf before. This is the first time I've been able to like comfortably fit my shower stuff and still have room to add if I need it. But if you do not have this kind of shower storage, there are a couple of things that you can do. There are really, really pretty acrylic shelves that you can put on any open wall in your shower, kind of elevated. It's just a great look. Or you could opt for something that goes up above on the shower head. They have plenty of options that hang over the top and come down, especially on Amazon. So definitely take advantage of that space. It is the easiest way to give everything a home in your shower. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. You can find all of the products that I used in this video linked below.